atom has different energy levels which are represented by the symbol N. The energy levels are also known as electron shells or principal quantum levels. These energy levels are designated by the numbers 1, 2, 3, and so on. In an atom, this is the first energy level or N equals 1. This is the second energy level, third, fourth, and fifth. Each energy level can accommodate a specific maximum numbers of electrons, and as you move to higher energy levels, the capacity for electrons increases. Under each energy level, there are sublevels. Sublevel in the first energy level, sublevels in the second energy level, and so on. The sublevels are also known as subshells. These refer to different types of orbitals within an energy level where electrons are likely to be found. The sublevels or subshells are labeled with letters S, P, D, and F, and each has a distinct shape and orientation. To better understand the sublevels, let us zoom in on this atom with its energy levels. This is the nucleus, the first, second, third, fourth, and fifth energy levels. As mentioned earlier, the sublevels are expressed as S, P, D, F, and G. In the first energy level, there is only one sublevel, which is S. The S sublevel is also present in the second, third, fourth, and fifth energy levels. In the second energy level, there are two sublevels, S and P. The P sublevel can also be found in the third, fourth, and fifth energy levels. In the third energy level, there are three sublevels, S, P, and D. The D sublevel is also existing in the fourth and the fifth energy levels. In the fourth energy level, there are four sublevels, S, P, D, and F. The F sublevel is also spotted in the fifth energy level. In the fifth energy level, there are five sublevels S, P, D, F, and G. Since this sublevel is in the first energy level, we write 1 before the sublevel. In this case, it's 1S. Since these sublevels are in the second energy level, we write 2 before the sublevels. The same applies to the sublevels in the third, fourth, fifth energy levels. So this number represents the energy level and the letter represents the sublevel. Now let's discuss the superscripts associated with each sublevel. This indicate the number of electrons within that specific sublevel. For instance, in the S sublevel, there are two electrons. Let's explore this thoroughly. Sublevels contain orbitals. Orbitals are specific regions of space where electrons are likely to be found. Each sublevel consists of one or more orbitals. For the S sublevel, there is one orbital. For the P sublevel, there are three orbitals. For the D sublevel, there are five orbitals. Let us use this illustration to show the orbitals of the F and G sublevels. Again, the S sublevel has one orbital, which is represented by one box as the orbital diagram. The P sublevel has three orbitals, represented by three boxes. The D sublevel has five orbitals. The F sublevel has seven orbitals. Lastly, the G sublevel has nine orbitals. Each orbital has a maximum of two electrons, which is spin in different directions, one clockwise and the other counterclockwise. Let us fill each orbital with two electrons. So, the maximum number of electrons in the S orbital is 2. In the P orbital is 6. In the D orbital is 10. In the F orbital is 14. And in the G orbital is 18 electrons.
let us go back to this illustration and distribute the electrons among the sublevels. For the S sublevel, 2 electrons. For the P sublevel, 6 electrons. For D sublevel, 10 electrons. For F sublevel, 14 electrons. And for G sublevel, 18 electrons. Now let's count the maximum number of electrons in each energy level. In the first energy level, there can be a maximum of 2 electrons. In the second energy level, the maximum is 2 plus 6 equals 8 electrons. Moving on to the third energy level, the maximum is 2 plus 6 plus 10 equals 18 electrons. For the fourth energy level, it is 2 plus 6 plus 10 plus 14 equals 32 electrons. Finally, in the fifth energy level, the maximum is 2 plus 6 plus 10 plus 14 plus 18 equals 50 electrons. This is what the sublevels and the number of electrons look like in each energy level. 